What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. You ain't going to want to miss not one second of madness your homie Grand Tizzle got in store for you. Today, we're going to do a tutorial called Rap War. It's an urban style flyer design tutorial before we get into our corporate styles. Y'all really ready to get it popping? Let's get it cracking. All right, fam, we're going to get this uh, session started by importing and placing our files in place here. So give me a second while I put that together. All right, now that we have all the files um, imported, as you see here, we have our text template folder. And if you watched my previous tutorial, you already know why we put together a template folder for text, because that's very time consuming and it's best to just have some template placeholders. All right, so next thing we want to do is so that we can make all of these files edible, you want to select them all and rasterize the layers. And that's, of course, if there is a rasterized layer. All right, so we're going to mute these two out and we're only going to work on the DJ and the background. So first thing we want to do is um, put him up to size. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and add our background. And then after we add our background, we're going to start uh, working towards the front, the theme of the, th the title, and then adding the text. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, uh, uh, grab uh, some gray background, perhaps. Change our brush. We're going to make it a grungy scene, a grungy look. So let's go here and find um, a paint. So this would be cool here. That's a cool paint brush there. And we're really just going to really just add some texture in the background. All right. And um, maybe we'll add another brush just for some. So let's create another layer. Do the same thing. But this way we can control it. We can control how much is there. Okay, that's good. So now we're halfway there, right? Let's create another layer. And um, let's see what other background elements we can add. Let's do some, let's put some stripes in there. So let's maybe darken the gray just a little bit so that you can see that there's a difference. And then let's go and get some stripes. And that would be these up here. So let's kind of uh, yeah, blow it up, create another layer again so we can control the strength of the stripes. And um, let's uh, turn our brush here and say right there. And then let's shrink it and maybe perhaps another stripe there. And that's good. And then we'll control the opacity of that. Blend it in. All right. So we got some geometry and some grunginess going on. So there's like technology slash hip hop. So it's modern, but it's still, you know, don't make no sense. All right. And uh, we're going to come back to that. Let's uh, add a other few small little elements in there. So let's like get like... um let's say a ribbon here and let's blow this up and uh, maybe just throw that in there and let's get a darker ribbon another layer let's turn this let's say another direction here something like that sweet 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 and then maybe even this perfect all right so now we're halfway there with the design, but it can't really go no further until we actually start putting the theme together. So let's go ahead and do that. So the title of this is going to be Rap War, and that's because, cow caps, Rap War, and we're going to use the, the font Impacted because it already got a kind of a grungy, beat up type of look to it. And uh, let's put this to the top here. We'll put this ab above him. And, um, we're going to use the impacted because it already got some grunginess to it. It's already kind of beat up. And um, it kind of suits the look and vibe of um, what we got going on. Bullet holes, all that. Okay, and um, let's go ahead and make that like a 
in some type of gray here or white. And then uh, we'll use the same font for war. And uh, maybe we'll make that uh, bigger. Right, war, we'll tilt it, you know, so everything can kind of just be chaotic there. And um, the theme, the color theme is going to be like uh, gray and um, pink, hot pink, something like that. Now, if you notice here, you know, it don't have any contrast, but don't worry about that. We're going to fix that. Um, so we got rap war. Let's make this a little bigger. Right. Okay, good, good. All right, and um, now we're going to go a layer above him and we're going to start painting in the inside of that, giving it the contrast that it needs for the letters to pop. So the theme is more or less like uh, pink, gray, and black. All right, so we're going to use some brushes here, right? Some bristle style um, brushes. So I'm going to shrink this down here. We're going to get pure black. And now you see how this is working, you see. Good. All right, that's looking pretty good. And uh, let's get another brush to kind of go a few different directions. So uh, let's get a, another stroke here and we'll shrink it. And then that way we can maybe pop something right here or maybe there, something like that. And then maybe up here, all right. And then let's turn it. It's always good to kind of have this open because you can kind of just tell it where to go and what to do. Okay, that's good there because we're gonna have a lot of things going on right there. Um, something else I like to do is like get our eraser tool and go to um, some like disintegration and kind of just go to these layers here. I didn't mean to do that, but that's that's okay because it, it works. Uh, rasterize the type and I'm kind of, you know, kind of beat the, you see how we erasing that? We kind of beating the word up a little bit. Rasterize this type, you know, and really giving it some problems. Good. And then um, we want to kind of throw a layer effect on that and kind of give it like a simple uh, bevel style. Something real simple. No big deal. Just to give it some a little bit of depth. Kind of blow it up maybe. Just a little soften it up. Not too much. Something, something soft and subtle like that. And then we can copy that, um, copy that layer and paste it onto war. All right, that's looking decent. Now let's put in our other elements here. Uh, let's get our turntable where we put it above everything. And um, let's shrink, shrink it down and put it down here. I know we should probably have a microphone. I know, I know. Don't trip though. All right, then we're gonna bust it up a little bit, grunge it up. Let's go ahead and bring our bullet in too. And we'll put our bullet above everybody. And we'll tilt that boy here and shrink it down. You know, it's a rap war. You know, that's what happens in war. Hey, you know, bullets go flying. All right. And then uh, let's make another copy of that. And we'll spin this and shrink it. You know, they be all over the place. They don't just be one, you know. All right, and uh, let's pull our box out. Where is our box right here? And our box is going to be like uh, right under him. Like somewhere around there. You know, doing this thing in the back. Now, since we now have our pink thing going on there, we can kind of start adding 
pull back up in there and add some stripes um matching up with the theme so let's go back and go back to our stripe layers i mean our stripe brushes here and uh, maybe we get this one and uh, let's give it the color of the, the, the text so we can really tie in the the color color theme here so something like that uh, something like that let's pick another one Oh, let's actually here let's get some dots while we at it sorry about that sometimes I like to blow it up so I can kind of get my dots going a little big there yeah let's keep this open let's turn this and we can put some dots up right there turn it a little more and um, gonna add something like that maybe like that and uh, we really working in good with the theme there. And uh, let's take, let's go do some fade. And so the brush ain't going to be, uh, the stripes ain't going to, the dots. The dots is not going to be perfect. So we want to kind of uh, pull a little bit of the dots out. So something like that. But we'll, we'll keep some of the lines, let them know that it was kind of, done on purpose or mistake and maybe we can add another brush another line brush something a little thicker something like this and um, blow this up and just so we can have some thicker pink lines that can really complement uh, what's happening here all right that should be enough because we're going to accent it with a few other elements now we're going to add some like some subtle glows to kind of tie everything in together. So we're going to create a new layer, go to Linear Dodge, and then we're going to get some smoke tools. Usually I get some fade tools, but we're going to use smoke. And what we're going to do with the smoke is um, put it on a layer so that when it blends, it blends in a unique way. So for example here, we're going to go with dark. And we're going to start off a little darker and we're going to kind of just put a few of those elements in there like that and it just kind of give it the you know really organic look and then um, we bring it up a little bit more you know add a little something else to it a little brightness here a little, little small little elements and you really don't know like I wonder how you did that well now you know and one more thing we're going to do before we bring in um, the text is um, add a little bit more black um, down at the bottom here. So we can pretty much grab any paintbrush here and I'm just gonna use, um, I'll just use that. So we can shrink it, paint a little something else down there. And um, if that, if this layer here is obstructing too much from the from the pink, then we can just simply uh, erase a little bit of that uh, smoke. So we can kind of do a little something like that, and we really got a nice little thing going on. So with all the elements in place, now we can go ahead and activate our text layer, and there you have it. Now, one thing I may do is, um, say for instance, go up here, you know, change that to pink or maybe maybe a darker, you know, red or pink or whatever. And um, something like this, maybe select this layer here and then we go in pink with that. And um, take a look at it. Now, of course, we can go deeper, but um, that's pretty much it. You know, something really nice, really popping. It really pops. Um, you know, don't forget you want to do all these things ahead of time so that you can just strictly concentrate on the graphic design. And something like this, of course, is easy to put together because it's, it's abstract. There's no rules. You know what I'm saying? You just kind of toy around, play around and just, you know, let things go all over the place. But it's the placement. You know, it's the placement placement of all things we got one two three four five elements you know the rule of thirds the rule of fifths you know what i'm saying 
and uh, you got something good. All right. That's it for this session, fam. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm going to be coming back with some more corporate style designs and um, uh, some flyer, you know, corporate flyers and restaurant designs and all kind of stuff. You know, we're not just going to stick to urban hip hop and, you know, urban. We're going we're gonna to do all kind of things. All right. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.